We have a thing we do here on the frenzy called the frenzy five. It's just rapid fire questions. Oh answer boy. Okay. First thing that comes <laughs> to your mind. Okay. No All pressure. Right. No pressure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Number one, where is your cozy, happy place? Oh, golly gee willikers. Cozy, happy place. I have lots of happy places. My cozy, happy place is probably right where I am. Um, I have a beautiful um, oasis that I've kind of like sanctuary that I've set up at home looking out over the forest and the pine trees. And, um, you know, I've got all sorts of like little wind, um, wind yard art and a sauna. And I think just, just, just being in my space that I've created is my most favorite. Yeah. Awesome. Number two, what's your favorite framed thing in your home? Okay. I have two favorite framed things in my home. The first one is, um, so I'm big on when my son was younger, I would take his art and I would frame it, um, in a nice frame. And so like he did this one with these pastel, uh, finger paints and he just kind of swished all over the, the page. And, um, that's definitely one of my most favorite for a lot of reasons. It makes me think of the inner child that didn't have, you know, a box and lines that they had to stay within and kind of that idea that, um, you know, your future is your canvas, you know, and you create what you want and it can be messy. That's definitely one of my most favorite. Um, the second one is actually uh, this, uh, he, he, my son had, um, he had this little stuffy that he took everywhere with him and his name was Brave and he had Brave tucked under his arm and he looked over at me and he just had this adorable little smile and I snapped it with my phone really quickly and I had it blown up in black and white. And, Aww. you know, just that sense of like peace and it's just this precious, simple, you know, innocent smile. And um, so I have it where, you know, when I wake up in the morning and I'm, I look at the wall, it's just right there on the wall. It's like, a, you know, good morning, mama. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. Okay. Number three, what's your most memorable birthday? <sighs> <laughs> you know, I can think of a lot of memorable birthdays because I've kind of been like a birthday snob about like making it a big to do. Um, but I the, love most, that. the most memorable birthday is actually 2019, my 40th birthday, because um, I wanted to be abroad with a parasol in a cocktail. And I was. And then the world shut down right after that. Um, mm. So it was kind of it, for me, it's kind of this thing of like, you know, I was insistent upon going out of the country for my birthday. I was insistent upon getting away from everything. No cell phones. I was on a very small Island, um, off the coast of Panama and, um, you know, I stuck with it. I did it. And now I look back on that as probably, you know, one of the last international trips that I'll take maybe ever, but for certain, you know, for a while. So, um, you know, it has a lot of special meaning. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Number four, what's a daily routine or ritual that you stick to? I have a lot, um, but most definitely number one is a gratitude practice. So every day I'm acknowledging something that I'm grateful for. And I try to do it in the morning, um, but I also try to make sure that I do it when I'm really ticked off. <laughs> 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 So good. And number five, what fashion trend did you jump on? Any I, era? You know, I'm going to be honest. I am a total fashion trend setter and nobody believes me. They all make fun of me. <laughs> and then six months later, they're wearing it or they're rocking it. And I'm like, I started that. Like, <laughs> so I actually, um, I actually feel like I'm kind of one of those people that beats to my own drum that way. And, um, you know, like I was wearing camo as a girl before it was like a thing. And then cam girls were in camo. And I remember putting my hair up in the like tight bun on my, like the big fluffy tree bun on my head. And then now all the influencers are showing people how to do the bun. I'm like, why are you showing people? That's like the epitome of the lazy. Like <laughs> there's nothing to do there. Like you just do it because you don't want to deal with the rest of it. But so, um, yeah. I'm tall. I'm, uh, I'm almost 5'10". So I'm a really tall girl. Um, I can tell you one of the things that I didn't jump on for the longest time was capri pants because I lived my mm. life high watering. And the last thing I was going <laughs> to do was go buy some high watering pants. So, yeah, so, 
but now, but now I'm a fan of the crop. I'm, I am a fan of the crop. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> you've <but> come around. <laughs> I, I tend to have a very boho style. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, I tend to be kind of just really whatever feels flowy and comfortable. Um, I'm, I'm really an anomaly in that I'm like a down in the dirt. I have garden and chickens and I'm really big on driving like an old school Jeep and stuff like that. But then I also wear dresses and want to be pretty. So, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm kind of this oxymoron that way. I love it it so much. 